Daily Broadside Day 643. Something you should be doing if you that you're probably not doing is go on the post office website and uh, you give them an email there and uh, they let you know what's coming to your mailbox. <clears throat> I am against the U.S. Postal Service, but they still do deliver stuff to my house, so I kind of like to know what's coming. And they'll basically give you an email on a daily basis of what things are coming to your house. So if you're expecting a, a check or something important that isn't junk mail, you'll know. But one of the things that I got in my mailbox two days ago was something from the National, uh, let me see if I can remember this, National Association of Letter Carriers, the NALC, the NALC, NALC. And they're running on this coming up uh, weekend. I think it's the 11th, uh, whatever this weekend is. I don't know. Uh, they're running their annual campaign that they've been running since 1993 of abolishing food uh, shortages with people that don't have enough food to eat. Um, this is the nation's biggest uh, food drive for getting uh, food banks and places uh, stocked to the brim, as it were, so that they can feed the less fortunate. Uh, however, um, they don't seem to be doing that great a job because their slogan of, you know, banishing the concept of, uh, you know, people that need food has been going on since 93 and they don't seem to be doing much of a dent in it. So, but what it basically said was you basically leave out non-perishable foods. And I have a theory on that, by the way, I think that the fact that you have to say non-perishable I think the people that you would have to say that to don't know what perishable and non-perishable means anyway. Um, so you might want to spell it out a little bit better. But you leave non-perishable food out by your mailbox in a bag and quote unquote, the mail carrier will do the rest. Well, I have a couple issues and I'll voir dire for a second because I worked uh, with uh, for a complete buffoon of a moron who was... Uh, yeah, this is like 20 years ago. He was, uh, promoted well beyond his intelligence level. I mean, he was just a complete dolt. I mean, I, I've seen puddles of mud, um, you know, have more intelligence, but this idiot, uh, decided to put together, uh, something for the troops in the Iraqi war back then. And so he asked for perishable donations to be delivered to a box outside a certain office at the place that I worked. And, uh, so uh, everybody started bringing like deli ham and open mayonnaise and fruit and all kinds of stuff that obviously was perishable because that's what he asked for. Um, you know, uh, not not to, uh, you know, kind of make fun of the fact that the gift boxes were for the troops, but more to the fact that this guy was a complete moron. Uh, but anyway, I get back to my point. The post office is on this weekend uh, coming up and they're going to they're going to take in all these donations. Right. Now, a couple things. They're doing away, as we know, with the Grunman LLV, the long life vehicle that was made in the 80s, the current mail postal service truck that we all know and hate. Uh, just a hideous design of a, it doesn't even have air conditioner. I mean, they weren't, you know, just dumb. Anyway, uh, this 2,700 pound piece of crap that is basically a Chevy S10 four cylinder with the old Iron Duke 2.2 or 2.5, whatever it was. You know, it's got no power whatsoever. Uh, just a, a, a venerable little motor and uh, and all this. But it, here's the problem, right? The payload for that stupid truck is a thousand pounds. Now, I don't know how much mail weighs. And I had to look it up and I'm like, how much mail are these people delivering on a daily basis? And Google says that it's 800 to 1,000 pieces of mail or residences in a eight or whatever hour shift that they work. And I'm like, dude, that's, you know, that's a house every 20, 30 seconds, giving them two, three pieces of mail. You know, I know paper doesn't weigh much, but you ask Dwight, Dwight Schrute, you put enough of it in the back of a truck, it weighs a lot. You know, so they already got the payload of the uh, other, and now they're taking on all these canned goods and, and whatever. And I'm like, what? who's actually participating in this ridiculous charade of, of this feel-good, like, let's eradicate hunger? You ain't eradicating shit, post office. Y'all in the red constantly. Y'all ain't been, like, in the black since, like, 2007. They lost $6.5 billion last year, and although they're technically not funded by the federal government, there's a lot of funding schemes that are thrown their way for this and for that and voting and all this other COVID and all this other crap, you know. They're already like, I think, $2 billion in the red this quarter for this year, so they already project a loss. Like, at what point do we shut this crap down 
and just let UPS and FedEx take over. I think we'll be fine with them. You know, private industry will be just fine uh, taking over where these idiots left off. Anytime you go to the post office, you're just annoyed the fact that these people have a pension. Like, y'all mouth-breathing, window-licking morons, you know, it's just, you couldn't even lick the stamp I'm trying to buy, you know? So I try not to give any more of my money to those morons than I really have to, and I... I can usually go an entire year without having to deal with them because there's enough private interests out there that I can do it. But here's the, here's the thing, right? If they really want to eradicate hunger, I say we all band together and we eradicate fucking hunger, okay? And here's how we do it, right? We shut down the post office, okay? I put out, you know, four cases of water and 78 cans of, of whatever I got in my pantry that I don't want. Or I go to the grocery store and I just start buying French cut green beans like it's going out of style, you know, and I've got 45 pounds of cargo out by my mailbox in bags like they asked for it. And quote unquote, the mail carrier will do the rest. At what point does it just weigh it down? And they're like on the phone with their boss and be like, hey, uh, this damn Grumman LLV ain't going anywhere. It's It's got so much damn weight in it. I've gone to seven houses. I've got 412 pounds in this thing. You know, on top of all the weight of all the damn mail I got to deliver, I can't get anywhere. It won't, my three-speed automatic transmission is just dogged out. It won't pull. I ain't got nothing else. I need a trailer. I need back, I need backup, right? Like we, and we just band together as a people, right? And every person in America just puts out 30 pounds of, of, you know, chicken puree and mushroom soup and all kinds of dumb crap out of their driveway of non-perishable goods and be like and we just stand there and we're like you gonna pick that up because we got hunger to solve y'all want to solve it knock knock then solve it all right get you a bigger truck because you ain't gonna fit all that stuff on that 1000 pound payload because i'm sure that payload includes that fat ass overweight mail carrier who sits on their ass throwing white letters out in a mailbox all day long so there's not a lot of cardio going on plus you got like an entire thousand uh people to deliver to and a thousand pieces of mail that's got to weigh like 11 pounds or something so you're already like 274 pounds into your 1000 pound payload it ain't gonna take a lot of uh canned goods for me to fill up your little truck and we'll see what you got going on knock when what y'all need to be doing is getting bigger trucks because if we want to solve hunger this ain't how we're going to do it we ain't filling up food banks with uh grum and llvs and then the thing that replaced you know they're replacing all the llvs so stupid things and they're like trashing them like you can't even buy one i don't know why you want to but you can't even buy one so they're making it to where like they're just going to crush them all which is just another stupid thing right uh but the new thing is like a it's like a Oshkosh NGLV new generation long life vehicle or some crap. Like we ain't got to have acronyms to tell how long this crap's going to last. Could you imagine if Nissan came out with like the Nissan, you know, uh, last forever vehicle, the LFV. I got you a LFV Nissan, a long last forever. V it's just dumb, right? But I have a problem, right? Like y'all six and a half billion dollars y'all lost last year. And you want to solve hunger. How about y'all solve delivering the mail? How about we start with just one of those little things like putting mail in a slot, you know, without having to go up on damn stamps for like 58 cents a, you know, piece of paper. Well, I don't even know what a stamp. I ain't bought a stamp in like 15 years because I refuse. I will drive the shit to wherever it needs to go before I succumb to your stupid little charade. It's just... You can tell I'm annoyed, but, um, you know, at any rate, I'm all for uh, solving hunger, just not through the post office.